welcome let's talk about on tonight's episode literally i am filming like like my face would be like jake swan but only it is not okay <laughs> let me just like us really okay um i just have my phone here with me today because i don't just want to rant because that's how it's it's, it's about to go down okay the whole thing thing and tyler's one i'll just talk about the one that were not that important tyler's one uh matthew was literally having popcorn he was enjoying himself with it when he was saying that oh it's only four days if he's uh, in real life it's just four days i feel like cats do need to have a conversation with him about that i know that yeah she saw some things i maybe i don't know if she's uh, she was expecting the worst but then he needs to clarify that he needs to really show her that if like he was really really into her or whatever i don't know whatever situation he needs to tell her to be honest all these guys are not it apart from teddy okay then and the liam one was not that bad just because millie has seen everything millie has seen everything and that one was even kind of like a soft blow okay yeah my head is on lily my heart is on millie that makes it good for them to come back together to be honest they were doing liam a favor and then um the whole teddy's one i don't understand teddy's a flirtatious person teddy's one is not bad I would even go to Teddy later, to be honest, because I really, really... Teddy's one is not that bad. Let me even talk about that. Teddy's one is not that bad, but Faye is looking for any reason to go mad. Faye is looking for a reason to go mad. Faye has been trying to sabotage that relationship from the moment he said going back good. She cannot believe it. First of all, oh, he's too good for me. Now he's not good enough for you. Please, like, Faye is acting like a child. The way Faye is acting, I didn't even act that way when I was 16 years old. Like, literally, if you're not ready to be in a relationship, why do these people go on Love Island? You're not ready to be in a relationship. Don't go on Love Island. Simple. Like, like the... F I'm pissed. Anyway, and the Jake one, the whole Jake uh, Island stuff, for me, it was a good thing they showed that. And I like Faye's reaction on that. So this is what I say about Faye. Faye is always going to react. And sometimes we want Faye reaction. But the thing is, sometimes like she always goes overboard. I don't mind her reaction to Jake's. I do not mind her reaction to Jake. Because Jake is going to call on them their sister. He's not going to be fought. Like, he was literally influencing those guys. Those guys were thinking, okay, maybe I need to do this because. Because all of them are chicken. And they are children too. <laughs> I'm calling them children. Yes, most of them are. Because Teddy is the matured one there. He did not let uh, uh, Jake's whatever influence him. But obviously, his girl cannot even see that. Like, if I'm being honest, I am so pissed. They have that conversation. Jake having a conversation with Liberty. Instead of him to reassure her, be like, okay, I know my head, you know, that was just early days. I was sexually attracted to you. Maybe I was just saying shit because I was feeling like he was going too strong. I don't know, whatever he needs to say to make her feel good. No, he's like, oh, why are you mad? I don't want to see my, you know, so I hate it when you're pissed at something. Instead of the person coming to you, being able to be like, okay, sorry about this, explain things, make it deep get to your emotions i don't know what guys are made of sometimes these days it's also want to be able to get to your emotion explain to you make you feel good about a situation they're telling like you're not supposed to be mad because you're supposed to see what is happening what am i supposed to see how many more things have you said behind my back that i did not know because then when you were saying that i didn't know you never said that to me i didn't feel that way and then if we have to even look at lips and normal you know what i mean insecurity she has said it before she used to have this insecurity issues whereby she used to compare herself with every girl the letter she had to stop so when you tell a girl like to be honest i've never had any guy that have dated me that has not been sexually attracted to me the first day they saw me like not feel like ripping my clothes off i don't understand people going from friendship to relationship or whatever the case is but most friends still want to rip your clothes off so i don't understand how you can be like oh i don't want to rip your clothes off them but now i want to rip your clothes off I'm sorry. It's not like and Teddy saying that okay, he, he finds uh, someone sexually attractive does not mean that he wants to. Yeah, you can find someone sexually attractive. So I don't understand how do you get someone you don't find sexually attractive? Now you guys' brains connect. I uh, I don't know. So for me, it's good that they showed this. I wish the police had showed this earlier on so that they could have gotten that over with. And maybe she could have moved on to someone that would actually really really that actually deserves her. I don't know to be honest. Jake does not know how to talk. He does not like guys. You need to learn. If you're a guy watching this, guys, you need to learn how to calm a girl down emotionally. Sometimes we need emotional support, especially when you mess up. 
it is annoying when it's that you are the one that mess up and you are the one that don't even have the right words to say, the right things to say, the right way to make me feel. Even just call to her. Don't even let go. So okay, I'm not going to leave you here until you feel better and love you. You're sexy. You're this. You're that. Over and 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 over again until she feels it. But what does my mind do? He's more mad about Faye shouting at him. It's like liberties and this thing don't matter. And what those girls are telling her is the truth. It's like her emotion don't matter because she just feel like, oh, she's gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Well, it's like they're you know, his head, they're old married couple. Things don't work that way. And let's be honest, all the girls there, they're not gonna just you know shout like Faye is gonna shout. But sometimes people that shout don't even feel it. People they just shout and dance down. But people that don't shout that keep it to themselves, they're the ones that feel it the most. Now I'm going to go to Faye. Faye is saying that, oh, when they were saying, where is Teddy, where is Teddy, he he hope he, uh, she hope he's on, on, on his way, uh, on his flight back. Faye, you're the one that will be on your flight back if you don't keep your mouth shut. Because at this point, I know yesterday, I think I was telling people, or this morning, actually, that's when I reviewed yesterday's episode, but I was saying yesterday on my Twitter, I was like, oh, vote for Faye and Teddy because I know the police are trying to break them up. I know Faye is reacting, but I was thinking, okay, she's going to be mad and then she's going to go apologize. But I forgot that she prefers to sabotage her relationship more than anything else. Teddy is the most decent person there. Teddy is the one that has actually been the most loyal. But to see him, even Millie saw that. Now Millie is all over kissing Liam because she's like, oh, I thought mine was bad. No, mine is not bad. Let me just hug this guy up. Because that was a reconciliation medicine that she just saw. You know? The way that Faye is talking to him. Faye needs to grow up. And Love Island, seriously, I know you guys like drama. Drama is good, but mature drama is also good like Faye is like a child like i knew there was a time in my life when i was really like maybe 15 16 i used to just go off but not even this kind of off this is ridiculous like you cannot even listen to someone you've made up your mind from what because you said so if she saw him in bed with uh, with the girl or even kissing the girl out of a challenge what would she have done because this is just excuses, excuses. She's looking for excuses. According to Teddy, that that's what hurt the most. She's looking for excuses to break up that relation. She's been looking for it since. She's been complaining. All those complaints. She's saying, oh, he likes this music. I let him No, that's a self-sabotage for you. And let me tell you that people that do this in real life, I am going to say this. This is Love Island. Yeah, it's like drama for us. But people do this in real life. And if you do this in real life and you're watching this, when you watch things most times, you need to look at the thing that you're watching and be like, okay, where am I in this thing? If you have that kind of behavior, then you need to watch yourself and stop it. Because there are people, that's why they never get a good relationship. They end up with a douchebag because when they have a douchebag, that's what they feel that they deserve. She doesn't deserve Teddy and I feel like Teddy should just, like, if Teddy goes and apologizes, because like, they was trying to talk to her and she's like, oh, you're oh, oh, nonsense. Like, she did not even, like, the whole something, did, you know, when he said, oh, the way he he felt. She's like, oh, you want to, oh, your reaction. She's like, oh, and because your, my reaction because of your actions. Even if my actions are bad, your reaction could be worse. But his actions were not even bad. So now, what did she want from him? She wanted him to get in bed with Clarice and then not do anything with her. Is that what she wants? Because she's trying to say, oh, because you don't trust yourself, that's why you didn't go in bed. Girl, you're looking for excuses. And I'm done with that excuses. Teddy don't go back to Faye. I don't know how it's going to work. Teddy don't go back to Faye. They better bring the way they were able to bring girls for Ovi. And, and and went and found greg from wherever i don't know from greg list for amber they better be that way be able to bring someone for teddy and teddy you better stay in that villa because we're about to give you that fifty thousand uh, pounds now although yeah you're going to share it in five with somebody lucky whoever that person is going to be that's going to just come there for how many days and get that money guys he likes a blonde girl he likes madonna so a girl that has done a lot of things in her body or i don't know find one for him because now, like, literally, and they like someone that has sarcastic uh, uh, conversation that is not too open with their emotion. But we need someone that is emotionally mature, even if the person is not too open. So you need to find someone that is tailor-made for Teddy. Because, Faye, I'm done with you. At this point, I'm done. Like, the rudeness, the way she's talking to him, the way she's shouting, and like she's going off on everyone. Even Dell is telling her, okay, do you remember every conversation you had? She's like, pretty much. No, you don't. And Princess, why did you not show her kissing, kiss, kissing Sam? Because they didn't show that part. They didn't show that part. Oh, did she not kiss Sam? And they made us think that she kissed Sam because they didn't show that part. They, they were just in bed. And that was that. They didn't show us that part. Like, I am fuming. Like, literally. I think I'm just trying to. I don't even know what I've even said. This whole review. So that is that. Teddy needs to leave. Uh, leave 
thing i need to see Kaz and tyler actually having a proper conversation it's not just attraction you smile at me i smile at you if if that's it then they should just get open the whatever room for them for them to go and do whatever they need to do so that they can get that off and over with i need to see liberty telling uh uh, uh and jake how she actually feels she's only done that once remember that time that she spoke to him about if he's gonna go for every girl that every blonde that comes here then she's only done that once so she needs to just tell him and he needs to whatever like to be honest and matt enjoying his popcorn because matt is like hmm this is just good drama and when they were showing him and this girl he's like not that like you know so i don't really care about matt either i know you guys care about him but that's good for you guys so that's that for uh, this uh, tonight episode please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you some other time Bye bye